What is up traders and investors? I'm back going to talk about some swing trading positions that I had in stocks, not options, just the shares themselves. And so there's a few I'm gonna go over, but in my trade room, we actually talk about swing positions as well. And so these are coming from the trade room that we talked about together, um, sometimes in the live session and then also in our chat room. So you'd be able to basically hear about the trades that we're getting into for the swings. And so Moderna was a big one that we've had and today I posted on Instagram that we have doubled that one, about 120 some percent, I believe now, return on that particular swing trade so far. So why did we get Moderna? What was the um, analysis that we did to let us know that we should get Moderna? So essentially what I do is look at this grid with stocks. And so this is a two year daily chart, right? So it's a pretty lengthy chart that we have up. If I go to this back arrow, then we're gonna see the uh, max monthly this is as long as Moderna has been around publicly that we can look at. Okay, but going back to the daily chart, we can see that we have a nice, what I call a 50% long, this white dash level here. This is just a 50% long. Okay, it's just the simple tool that I use to basically look at the markets and basically do my analysis and see what is Moderna going to do. And so, here we trade the 50 percent long right we come we're trading higher and then back in may of 2019 we start to get this pullback and we end up trading so this is may 19th of 2020 we get this pullback and we end up trading about 50 dollars here in moderna and so to us that's a very important move to pay attention to because that is essentially half of moderna's value cut in half right there that you can see on the chart and so it's a typical you know for a good stock it's a great entry point and it's a huge discount. And a lot of these stocks back in March were doing plenty of 50% retracements. And those are the best retracements to get long into the stock market for what I do. As long as the stock has provided a good fundamental background, then that's just the easier part is looking at the chart, drawing up the levels and taking entries. So from here, we see Moderna's traded 50. We had a nice reaction higher. We even made a new high, right? This high is a higher high above our prior high. So we already see the trend working out in our favor. Now, another setup that, again, I teach in my trade room, I'm not going to go over it here, but I teach it in my trade room. It's called a 78 bounce. We use this 78.6 level, and then we essentially look for retests of other support levels along the way after trading that thick gray level. We see that here at 56.63. That's our 78 bounce coming into play. Okay, we see that take off. So our members had a few different entries. There were entries at 65, 67, I believe also 69. Um, 69, I believe, was because we had a low to high, once again, that white level, that 50% long. That's a six, about 68 if you round up, right? So we see about 68 here on Moderna. And then we also see our 618. That's a red level. The red level is just, a, it's a 618 because if I go to the edit properties one more time, you'll see I have a 50, a 0 0.618, and a 0 0.786. 78 bounce is the gray level. 618 is, is my red level again not going to go too much into the specifics of the trade besides how we got there but we see how we trade a retest of the 618 so that was an entry for a 6488 that red level 6488 was also an entry round up to 65 or so so we had entries about you know 65 66 67 etc all the way up to 70 were our entries that were valid and so depending on how you got in either way you've had a great ride higher so when did we take profits? Well, we saw some targets getting completed, um, you know, just a couple weeks ago. So we took some profits off here around 87, 97, and we got in the hundreds. So we took some off there. Now we're at 125, 133. So really, now we're just kind of um, holding it until, um, really, we can just hold this as long as we want to because we've already doubled our our position, right? We have gotten over a hundred percent return on this stock, we have done that. So our risk is essentially off the table in a way because we've taken some shares off. And by taking shares off along the way, we've already you know, taken in some profit here that's realized. And so the positions that are left on with Moderna, we're just kind of holding to see what happens and we'll kind of assess it as we go. Um, as of now, what I'd look for next is simply a high to high extension. Again, I teach all this stuff in my trade room. I'm not gonna be going over the specifics here in this video but I would look for that high to high extension to trade next and we'll see how we react off those levels. But that's just one example in Moderna of how our members were able to also capture profits, not just me 
and the other experienced guys, but also our members that are newer or just trying to do swing trade. Maybe they have a job, maybe they have school, they can't always day trade. So swing trading is a great way for them to hold a position and give them good risk reward, right? They were able to enter here in the 60s. You can see we barely dip lower than that. And then all of a sudden, we just start taking off toward our targets. Great press coming out with them. Clinical trials are going well, everything with that. So it just helps to have that. That's also why we chose Moderna, right? They're that, they're that um, medical company that's going to be helping with the vaccine and everything there with this pandemic. And so that's just another reason for us to be in them. Um, but going over another example briefly here, I'll, I'll put in Tesla because they've been popular. And if I pop real quick to the uh, trade room that we have, actually, you can see here that in our stocks and options page, um, we said this is back on October 30th. Tesla trading off its extension then had a 78 bounce. The entry for the 70 bounce is retested at 61. That lines up with its extension 38.2. So this could be another buy zone for Tesla. Now, what does all of that mean? Basically, it just is this. Okay, we have an extension. We have this 50% getting traded. We see this white level here around 348. This gets traded. And then we see our 78 bounce end up getting traded as well. That's about 360. It gets traded. Now notice how we have our next support level, this red line, that's our next support level. This support level also lines up with this blue level that we've had in the past. Okay, so to us, this would be a great entry to enter into Tesla if we hadn't already. So let's just go ahead and go to um, our charts then and take a look at what Tesla actually did. So like we talked about, we have this high to high extension. We traded the 50, we traded the 78 bounce. Now we're looking for the retest of our support to get long into Tesla. And you can see here, we actually trade these levels really, really well, right? We, we come in here and we tag that red level, tag the blue level. Our low is 379.11. Okay, these levels are 380, 385, et cetera. So there are plenty of entries here between 380 and 390. I would start entering for a swing trade. And we can see that we tag this level. And so far, we have just run through targets. Okay, you can take one off here at 493, take another off at 544 or so, and then what I'm going to do is just simply delete this draw because we've already completed those targets. Now what's next for us is a 575. Okay, 575 is a target that we've just completed. Maybe that might may have been on Friday, actually, that we completed this target, it seems like. And then Monday we opened up at highs as well. We've come down a bit. But again, just like the other setups that I talked about, we could see the next extension take place. If I go to a four-hour chart, you would see that we actually have come into this 50% extension that I just drew up. And so we'll see if that continues us higher. But overall, just a couple examples there of stocks um, just running up and then us seeing a great opportunity to get in them. And so we go to the charts, we draw up the support resistance that we need to look for the entries on support. And then we let our members know as well, and they can come for the ride. And like I said, Tesla, this one's probably um, you know, 400 to nearly 600. So, I mean, we're talking, um, we're talking over 50% return probably or somewhere around there already, 50% return. And that's in, you know, this would have traded back on October 30th. So like in a month, we're getting 50% off Tesla in a month time. And then also with Moderna, that trade, we can take a look, but that wasn't that long either that we've had that one. So looking at this chart as well, uh, this would be around, you know, late October or so. If you got in at the deep 78, maybe early September, late August. So it could have been a few months or it could have just been a month and some change. But either way, who cares? You're doubling your investment that you put in here. You're doubling your swing trade. And so, you know, basically to make it simple for you, if, if you had put, you know, say, let's say uh, $68 into just one share of Moderna, you know, you're now sitting at more than double your initial position. Okay, so that's just... The power of swing trading here even if you have work even if you have school you can find time to just hop in the trade room and see what we're doing and taking rides along with us for some swing trades but i hope this helps in some way just kind of open your eyes to swing trading and just finding not only day trades but also longer term trades to be able to capture profits in the market but if you have any questions comments definitely let me know please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content i'll be making more about investing soon as well and i will see you guys in the next one